All right, today's adventure is a little something from the Jig Shack uh, home of custom painted crankbaits and tungsten weights. <clears throat> but instead of uh, crankbaits and tungsten weights, I got here a wacky tool. <clears throat> I seen this on a Facebook page and I thought, man, uh, that looks kind of cool. I might want to check this out. So everybody did, uh, sorry about that, my phone's buzzing. Everybody that knows the deal about uh, wacky rigging and uh, hooking up O-rings to your worm, a lot of you probably have some sort of tool kind of like this, where you slide your worm in there and then you work an O-ring up over the tube onto the worm. Uh, I got some clear O-rings as well as some black O-rings. These work, they work fine. But I've seen this tool and I thought, man, I want to give this thing a try. And it can be found on the uh, the JigShack.com uh, website. Bruce West out of Illinois is the owner. And uh, if you go to his website, you'll see he's got some pretty nice tungsten weights as well. He's got some Ned Rig heads with tungsten weights, which I'm going to buy next. Uh, they look pretty, pretty cool. But these have silicone bands instead of o-rings and there's various sizes but as you can see it's just a it's a silicone tubing cut and he's got various sizes to work with various worms so so the guys are like throwing these fat 10 inch monster worms so you got your 10 inch fat worm you take your band and you slide it down the neck and I would say the fatter the worm the further you need to slide this band on right and feed that worm in there put a little grip in there and voila you get the worm fed right and then you pull it off actually you can put it anywhere you want right and then we pull it forward and voila the band is on the worm and it's pretty snug for this one, all right? I'll do it again with a smaller one. So we got these UV tight lines, another Missouri based company that I love to support. But this is a smaller finesse drop shot worm, right? And let's look through our bands and this looks like it's a small size. Put it on the tip again. There's a tight fit already on the end of that tip, right? And then we feed the worm through. Apply pressure on your tool. And voila. I'm going to go further down to the fat part right there. And it's fed. Pretty cool. The cool thing about this is when you use a hook, that band, if you were to go through that worm, is going to be that much more reinforcement to keep using the same worm bite after bite. And if you didn't want to go through the silicone, Open it. Okay, then you can under hook it, under hook it this way, right, and bring it up and through like that. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe you could even cut this in half if you wanted to and make it even thinner. And again, it comes in multiple sizes. The tool itself seems to be made of a real quality metal. I have not took it out and used it yet. So I can't tell you how it fares when it's wet. But to me, 
it looks like it's, it's well made. The only negative that I have on the tool is I wish it had a hole drilled for a lanyard because I'm a kayaker and I like to le leash things up. But what I went ahead and did with my Robohawk leash is just kind of looped it down here onto my Robohawk leash. And it's still, I'm able to use it. It don't interfere in any way at all. But real quick, that's the short and simple. Let's do one more one. Let's do a Yamamoto. I think this is a, a medium size. Let's try a different, try a medium size collar for this one. Place it on your tool. Feed the worm through. Voila. That simple. Pull it off. And it's on there. Of course, if I wanted to, to feed it up any more, oh, this will slide, but it's on there. Pretty cool. Jigshack.com. Custom painted crankbaits and tungsten weights. I'm hoping to get this thing out this weekend. If the snow and ice lets up, and, uh, we'll try it out.